right. <laughs> Tales from the shed. Here we are again. Um, if, we're still in. We're still in the summer. We're still enjoying fantastic weather. So we were thinking, what are we going to talk about? So Alison came up with this idea. Oh, is yeah. I mean, it was. I was at some. Oh, that's right. I was at a network, and they had somebody talking about. Have you ever thought of doing a TED talk? Right. And one of the questions that they asked us when we all went off into breakout rooms is, well, what would your TED message be? Ooh. I mean, that's a good question, isn't it? You know, if you've ever uh, had that's... that idea about, oh, yeah, I'd like to do a TED talk because I'm, you know, I'm, I am I could talk for whatever it is, however many minutes it is. It's something like 14 minutes or something. Yeah. But what would our message be? Oh, that's a that's an interesting one. That's yeah. a super interesting one. I know, because I kind of thought, well, with the work that we're doing at the moment, what is our message? And our message is, what are we about? We're about empowering women. I think it's about giving women choices. Giving women choices so um, they make the right decisions for themselves. I think my work has always been about telling people choices because hmm. they feel that everything is very linear. And, and I know mm. I do a lot of work with people with hormones, IVF, um, menopause, people that have gone to the NHS and... Or whoever. Or who, well... Well, so, so the in medical other countries model. as well, yeah. But, but, you know, it's the medical model that they follow mm. on the basis that the medical model has a linear model and it will come up good all the time. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis and treatment. Mm. And... As they get more into it, and this is how we kind of started with the IVF thing, with the fertility mm. thing, was you suddenly realise that one size doesn't fit all. It isn't... Who'd have thought <laughs> But there are some things, you know, you have um, certain things that happen in life and you yeah. think, you know, you've got a tumour on the brain and they operate... And yeah, that's right, that, that's the solution. Yeah. That's the solution. But it's it's the one size fits all and, and it suddenly opens up into this diagram where you have lots of different things happening and each mm. one of those has lots of different things happening and it's almost giving people back the power so that they can make the appropriate choices yeah so i think we've always kind of talked about that information is power information is power because what happens and um, particularly when you talk about menopause is that for, for a long time nobody talked about it mm. Um, and then I saw something. I saw something interesting the other day where somebody had made a post and said, "We've got to realise that when women are in the bed wars, you don't die. You know, you're kind of going <laughs> exactly. You're still here. But it was that feeling of we can't admit they're in the bed wars. We can't talk about it because somehow that means if we go through it and we've not we've not acknowledged it and risked it, then we'll probably be all right. And this is another you know? another example of the one size fits all. But yeah. if we find the solution mm -hmm. to men the solution mm -hmm. like it's a problem and we yeah. find this one we're solution. broken and we need to be fixed yes. and they're now saying that they've just recently introduced um menopause at work and this is what for the, what people have to do and they have time off and they have this and you think well it's a, again we're coming up with the one thing we're taking away we're taking away the choices of women to understand hmm. and see all the different options they have rather than hmm. You have a problem this is the solution yeah and it was interesting because i was talking to somebody yesterday and we had exactly that conversation where you told me about somebody had come to you in the clinic and said i'm really i'm really looking forward to menopause because i've had dreadful periods for all of my life and you're going hold on a moment <laughs> yes. we need to sort that out then and and she was saying exactly the same she said i've had dreadful periods for all of my life and i went well you might want to think about that before you kind of get to 42 this is, this is... and suddenly think it's not all going to go away if that's what your experience has been and and you put up with it for however many years you know you you didn't have to put up with that for a start no, off so I but you know you could do something to sort it out and it's not about having to go i mean she was american so very medicalized model in that sense because i said well what options have you got over there and she said well not much essentially you go to the doctor or you don't and if you go to some kind of somebody who's not in the mainstream it's it's thousands of dollars and you think well that's not great that's not accessible no. information then is it really so it did kind of feel like that you know our message is information is power so get the information wherever you are whatever the situation is and start with the things that work with you so if you've so for me obviously it was homeopathy and that had worked for me and I thought great I'll start there 
and and it worked fantastic but some people might have acupuncture some people might try cbt some people might find but nutrition I, some whatever it is that worked for you when things weren't going well i think my key forward. is yeah the body works the body balances mm. and it's when it goes off kilter it's finding that that solution back with the body again yeah whereas because the more we go out it's a bit like a child with balance scales yeah and this side's a bit heavier so they put something on that and it's it keeps going like yeah, this all yeah, the time yeah yeah and it's finding something that when the body is in perfect balance it works pretty well and then mm. there'll be a few bodies very few that don't balance very well mm. when it's very appropriate to have something yeah. but it's this idea that we're broken yeah and that we should ex accept it being it's accepted uncomfortable having painful periods for your whole life why well, uh, yeah you know, painful yeah. periods endometriosis these things that happen well you're really unfortunate and yeah you're oh, stuck with it. and she said it was interesting because she said it took her years to even get a gp to listen to her and actually believe that that was the case i went yeah but then there's very little they can do yeah so they have to keep saying oh well you did you know don't you no. haven't really got that you haven't really no. got that and i think it's migraine it, every time you're it's late. understanding yourself no. you should be the master you mm. are the specialist in your own body yeah and okay. you know what works for you so i think it would be giving you back your power giving yeah. you back that space yeah. and really trying to inform yourself that there's your body works yeah and what we can do and there's a lot of people out there that can make things yeah. work for and you. it's not one size fits all and it's not one find, size fits all find a size that fits you yeah, and find the size that fits yeah. you and use that yeah um so yeah so that seems to be quite a good that would be my test message so what's yours <laughs> <laughs> yes what's yours think about that